Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Thanks, Tim. Monday will be nice. Partly sunny skies, skies for most of New Mexico. We're talking a little warmer east of Central Mountain Chain, also breezy conditions. But things are really going to change when we get into Tuesday. A storm comes knocking at the door. We're going to start with snow showers in the northwestern part of the state. We will spread to the north and the east. As the snow is spreading on the western half, we will have a cold front that will really help get snow going along the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the northeast highlands. Our bullseye points for this storm, which will start pretty much Tuesday a.m., the heaviest snow. Tuesday evening into Tuesday night will be the northern mountains and then also the northeast highlands there. So uh, we're going to expect travel to worsen as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Slick roads, blowing snow, and very cold air behind this thing. Temperatures in the northeast will be in the uh, low 20s and some of us dipping down into single digit lows. Here in Albuquerque, even a chance to pick up a few inches as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday and cold air for us by Thursday. Thank you, Ian. The state's natural gas crisis is now in its fourth day. New Mexico Gas Company says it's making progress, but residents of two major towns will be left without gas for another night. The problem began Thursday with more than 30,000 people without gas. That number has been lowered to about 20,000. As of Sunday evening, six communities were close to being fully restored, but a majority of customers in Taos and Española will not get their gas restored until tomorrow. 554 workers are scattered throughout the state working on the issues. The National Guard has been brought in as well, and those soldiers are helping residents clear the areas around their meters and locking up pets. The gas company says those are issues that have significantly slowed re relight efforts. The company has a website set up now for people who want to file damage claims for things like broken pipes because of a lack of heat. State lawmakers will be looking for answers on the natural gas crisis tomorrow morning in Santa Fe. Representatives from New Mexico Gas and the Public Regulation Commission will appear before the House Energy and Natural Resources Committee to answer some questions on how the problem developed. Committee member Al Park says it's, it's especially concerning that rural New Mexico was hit the hardest. He says he wants to know how the shortage happened and what can be done to make sure it doesn't happen again. The meeting is scheduled to begin at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.